differentiating sine and cosine functions is very easy. We just need to have a good understanding of some key concepts. When differentiating sine functions in the form y is equal to sine a theta, where a is a constant, its derivative dy d theta is given as a cos a theta. It's as simple as that. Looking at a real function, y is equal to sine 3 theta. To find its derivative, all we need to do is apply this formula to it. That is, dy d theta, differentiating y with respect to theta, would be given as a, a in this case is 3, therefore to be 3 cos 3 theta because it is A theta. And that's it for differentiating a sine function. It should also be noted that y is a function of theta. Therefore, y could also be written as f of theta. And its derivative, dy, d theta, written as f prime of theta. So this question, this same question, could have come in a different form. That is, denoting this, in its functional notation, it would be f of theta is equal to sine a theta and f prime of theta is a cos theta. It's exactly the same thing as the first, but just different notations. That is the same problem could have been given in this form f of theta is equal to sine 3 theta and you will have done exactly the same thing that's f prime of theta is equal to 3 cos 3 theta This is to clear up any doubts or confusion. Now let's look at how to differentiate a cosine function. For a cosine function in form cos a theta, its derivative dy d theta is given as negative a sine a theta. That is, if we're given a function y is equal to cos 10 theta its derivative dy d theta is equal to negative 10 which is negative a because a is 10 in this case negative 10 sine 10 theta and that is the derivative of this now this is also exactly the same thing as this in functional notation that is it could also be given as f of theta is equal to cos 10 theta and its derivative f prime of theta would be given as negative 10 sine 10 theta and that's it for differentiating sine and cosine functions 
very easy. So let's look at some real problems. In the first problem, we are asked to find the derivative of 3 sine 5 theta. Recall, differentiating a sine function, dy over d theta would be given as a cos a theta, which in this case, dy d theta is equal to a in this case is 5 but also notice that we have we have a coefficient outside the function itself therefore that coefficient has to be respected we would bring out the coefficient and differentiate the function which would be 5 cos 5 theta which is a cos a theta, which would be equal to 3 times 5 is 15 cos 5 theta. This could also be written as 15 cos 5 theta without the brackets. And that's it for the first problem. For the second problem, given in functional notation, we ask to find the derivative. Recall that the derivative of a cosine function f prime of t would be given as negative a sine a t because the variable in this case is t and not theta. So f prime of t for this question would be given as negative also notice that we have a coefficient outside so that this coefficient has to be respected as well so we'll bring three out before differentiating the function within that is negative a is 2 negative 2 sine 2 t which 3 times negative 2 is equal to negative 6 sine 2t, which could also be written as negative 6 sine 2t. And that's it for the second problem as well. In this problem, we're asked to find the differential coefficient of y equal to 7 sine 2x minus 3 cos 4x. The differential coefficient simply means the derivative or, or the differential. Writing out the question again, y is equal to 7 sine 2x minus 3 cos 4x. It might seem a little more complex, but trust me, it isn't. All we need to do is break down the question into two parts, part one and part two, and differentiate them separately. The first part is a sine function, and recall that the derivative of a sine function, which in this case would be dy, over dx, because we are differentiating y with respect to x, would be given as a cos a x, which for this problem, the y dx is a is 2. And we know also need to respect the coefficient outside, which is 7. So 7 into brackets then we differentiate the function 2 cos 2x which is equal to 7 times 2 14 cos 2x which which could also be written as 14 cos 2x for the second part it's 
a cosine function and the derivative of a cosine function from the formula we know is negative a sine a x which for this problem dy dx will be notice that we also have a coefficient outside we need to respect it 3 into brackets negative 4 sine 4 x which is equal to 3 times negative 4 negative 12 sine 4 x which could also be written as negative 12 sine 4 x let's create some more space now bringing the two parts together we have 14 cos 2x minus minus 12 sine 4x which is equal to 14 cos 2x plus 12 sine 4x and that's the final answer for this problem for this problem we're told that an alternating voltage is given by v is equal to 200 sine t volts where t in quotes is the time in seconds calculates the rate of change of voltage when t is equal to 0 0.05 seconds and b when t is equal to 0 0.01 seconds so we have to find the rate of change of voltage the time rate of change of voltage that is the change in voltage over the change in time which simply is dv over dt we know that v is equal to 200 sine 100 t and this is a sine function since it's a sine function dv over dt from the formula is given as a cos a t which for this question dv over dt would be equal to a is 100 but we also have a coefficient 200 which needs to be respected that is 200 into differentiating the function itself is 100 cos 100 c which gives 20,000 cos 100 t now to the problem itself part a we are asked to find the rate of change of voltage when t is when t is equal to 0 0.05 seconds that is dv over dt when t is equal to 0 0.005 seconds and to do that all we need to do is plug t to so plug 0 0.5 for t in this expression therefore dv dt will be equal to 20,000 
cos 100 times 0 0.005. By typing that into my calculator, remember to have your calculator in radians. That gives me one seven five five one point six five volts per second. For part B, we need to find dV over dt when t is equal to 0 0.01 which would be dv over dt is equal to 2 20,000 cos 100 times 0 0.01 which is equal to by plugging that into my calculator which gives 1086.05 volts per second. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, kindly give it a like. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel for more helpful content. See you in the next videos.